everyone from the Davis Legacy Soccer Complex in Davis, California. This is the 2018 USAFL Western Regional Championships. This is the first game of Division II as the Portland Steelheads take on the Arizona Outlaws. The Steelheads are in the blue jumpers. They're heading from the light blue jumpers. They look like to be heading from left to right. And the Outlaws in the dark blue with the red and yellow stripes. They're heading from right to left. We are underway and the ball is in the middle and we have a Oh, well, I thought that was a whistle, but that's from the other field. That one is knocked backwards. One-on-one -on -one contest, a little bit of a push in the back. Going over to get it there is Lambert for the Outlaws, but then charging out to the near side is Martin Coventry, who has played nearly 200 games for several different teams in the USAFL. And he paddles the ball out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Portland is 2-0 and on the season. The Outlaws won one game from their split uh, performance at the Rob Dollar AFL X Tournament, which they hosted back in May. Get it, boy! Here come the Steelheads controlling that and kicking that one out of bounds was Abernathy, and we'll have a boundary throw in. It have been very close to being deliberate, but it wasn't. So the ball comes spinning back into play. One-on-one -on -one contest. Knocking that one forward is Brown, one of a few players from the Las Vegas Gamblers who was here playing alongside the Outlaws. And another boundary throw in coming up. Ball comes back into play one more time. Drops down in front. Getting a boot on it there was uh, was the man in Jevon Mason. Now it's loose in front of the Portland target. They skip that one out, but the ball is turned over. The Outlaws have it. And they just soccer that one on. Coventry will come on to grab it. Long handball back. Throwing that one on the right is Wilhelm. A shot for goal, but it's marked in the last line of defense by Abernathy. So Peter Abernathy has had a bit of the footy here in the early going. An ugly kick. He was looking for the 69 there in Brandon Atienza. Ball goes out of bounds. will be another boundary throw it. Now two minutes into this first quarter, we're playing four... 10 minute quarters today because of the impending heat. Ball spills out, shot for goal, first one on the way, and it's off to the left hand side. Straighten it up! As, Let's uh, keep up the pressure, pick him up! Not sure who that was who kicked that for goal, but off to the side, it's through for one point. So 1 0 Portland. Out in the middle of the ground, and another intercept mark, and that one is taken. Go oh, yeah. oh, the Portland Steelheads, first of the game. That takes them on to 1-1-7. And no score for the Outlaws. I didn't see who scored that. Thank you. So Elliot Boyce with the goal. That's why I'm glad I have all this help over here. Portland, as we mentioned, has two wins on the season. Last year, they teamed with Sacramento and came darn close. They finished in second in the Division II in the men's competition. They finished 0-2 two years ago when they hosted the tournament up in Salem, Oregon. And they were 1-1 when it was here last in 2015. Out of the rock, big tackle thrown in there by Dixon. And Coming through with a long kick, swatted down by Abernathy, staying with the football, getting that one out again. This is a long handball across, looking for Fernandez. Fernandez into the middle of the ground, long handball back. Kim shuffles to the inside, he dropped the footy. And it was either going to end up being a high tackle or, or a good tackle. And in fact, they are calling the tackle. That very well could have been a 50-meter penalty, but it wasn't, and we're playing 25s here. The free kick will go to John Kim, as it was paid as a high tackle. So Kim, who played very well in the 2015 regional, known for his speed, but also good skills. The kick is on the way. It's starting left. It's staying left. Big contest in the square. It's poked in front, but cleared out of the last line of defense. Out to the near side, Wilhelm. 
drop the pill in there against Brown. Second bite of the cherry was good. Long handball across Kim. Centering ball in towards the sticks. Knocked down in front. It pops out in front. Another chance. But the fullback again able to get to it for the Outlaws. And then a long kick where he finds Abernathy. Or check that, that's Alan Brown. So Brown goes out in short, and here they come through the middle. This is Rob Ludostansky. Long kick, again looking for Atienza, but couldn't get it. Ludostansky, and there are six of them on this team. Great through in there by Coyle. Kicked into the middle, and it's going to be a high tackle. And now we're going to come back to the man at Ryan Coyle. So Coyle with the football in the true wing position, right wing position, handballs it off to Coventry, long kick, knocked down in front, controlled there by, uh, I believe by Borenstein, the ball has gone out of bounds, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Seven nothing, Portland the lead. Five minutes gone, about six minutes gone here in the first term. Again, four 10 minute quarters today, and yo was, uh, that was very close to being out of bounds or a tackle. It's one of those two things. And in fact, it will be paid as a free kick. It was, in fact, a tackle, and getting it there was Philip Norris for the outlaws. So Norris sends that one up on the wing position, one-on-one -on -one contest. Wilhelm able to knock that one down from, uh, from the 25 there, unlisted for the outlaws. And then long handball across. Here they come. And then being taken down there and then tripping over his own man as Warden was in there for, for Portland. It's worth mentioning, as we said, the Outlaws playing with members of the Las Vegas Gamblers as there's a kick out to Coventry. Coventry runs to 40. It's starting low. It looked good. Did it sneak in? No, it threw for a behind. Well, that truly was like one of my Aunt Becky's cookies. It looked good coming off the boot. But crumbled into nothing at the end. Just get him to run straight to you in the one, game. 1 2 8 Portland. No score for the Outlaws. Portland, as I was starting to say, had some members of the Arizona Hawks on their team. Of course, the Outlaws were founded earlier this year. The Hawks have been around since 1999, celebrating their 20th season. And it must be said, a great job by Jason Wilhelm, Melissa Armstrong, and a lot of the uh, Hawks and Darren Henderson as well to rebuild that team. Division two champions back in 2004, Division three champs in 2011. And so we have a free kick from the left back pocket. Kicked that one out to the near side. In fact, that the wind is taking that one. A little wind there is, and it's out on the full. And it will be a free kick as uh, Scott Cosman, number 47, sets up to come back and play. And Martin Coventry, former North Carolina Tiger, former Seattle Grizzly, will kick the ball in to win position. That one goes inside 50. Wilhelm tried going up over the top, but couldn't get there. It comes to Kim. Kim with a long hand ball in front, but he dropped the footy. That one goes up over the top. Slot back into play by the defense. And then that one is kicked out. That's Mark. Good defensive mark taken there by uh, the number nine. Out to the far side. And it's marked defensively. I believe that's by Abernathy one more time. So the Outlaws. And uh, that's uh, Robert Yackley in point of fact. Number 20. Mark. Oh! Taken down afterwards. And a little bit of a shove. Calling for 25. And a shove in there by uh, it's Ronnie Lutostansky. And a 25-meter penalty has been assessed for the push. Now, for those of you not familiar with, uh, unlike in the AFL and all the leagues in Australia, we do play with a, a, a card system. A yellow card means the player is sent off for 15 minutes and is replaceable. So the manpower would stay the same. Kick is sent on the way. Mark! No! Wilhelm, they tell him to play on. He goes around the corner, but it's stopped on the line. Ball goes to ground. Pick up again. That one is dropped. Staying with it there is, uh, is one of the steel heads, and that one is cleared out by the Outlaws. I don't think they've gone across center field yet. 
Ball goes to the ground. It's picked up. Big tackle in there on uh, on the 25 again. Handballed it in. That one goes back again, looking for Ronnie Ludostansky, and we have a whistle and uh, tackling off the football. So Ronnie Ludostansky will have a free kick. Eight to nothing, Portland the lead. And that will do it for the first quarter. First 10 minutes are in the books. And the only goal of the game by Elliott Boys, Portland has had the sway of play at the end of the first 10 minutes. It's the Steelheads 8, the Outlaws nothing. We'll be right back for the second quarter of this one. You're watching the 2018 USAFL West Coast Championship here on USAFL.com.